What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Roxy of the Verbank City Gym, and we got ourselves our second badge. Let's go ahead and take a look at that badge right here. Look at this. Hold on, let me press that button, and bam! There it is, guys. Two badges in all. I am happy about this. And yeah, we got six more to go, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Now, in, the, in this episode... It's kind of a throwaway episode, I'm sorry, but it has to be done. But we have to go into the uh, Poke Studios and all that stuff because, well, somebody does not want to be a captain. He wants to be a so-called movie star. Yeah. And then we're going to have to make our own movie and all that crud. And, well, as you can see, hmm, I see. That, count that kid sounds promising. Indeed. And that kid should be here at any moment. And, well, there he is. Look at that. Oh, and look who should appear. Welcome to the Pokestar Studios. Hey Draven, we've been waiting for you. This is our boss, Mr. Stu D O. Hmm. Kind of a, a kind of an interesting name there. Bonsoir! Hello, I'm a studio. Charmed, I'm sure. So you must be Draven. We're just talking about you. I'd like to explain the Pokestar Studio, but I need a little time to prepare. I'm so sorry, darling. Could you wait an insy moment? Uh, in the meantime, I'll show you around in the Spooky Star Studio. Oh, uh, that would be marvelous. Movies, they're amazing. Pokestar Star Studios inspire the moves, all poke, uh, moves people all over the world. You can make sure Draven experiences in, 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 its many charms. Well then, I absolutely must be off to start my preparations. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Alrighty. That's my boss for you. What a graceful footwork. Well then, Draven, come with me. Okay, we're gonna have to go with him and uh, well, here's the Pokestar studio. It's a um, basically you make movies right here And I guess you can make as many movies as possible And be a movie star and all that crud and it well obviously for me I just yeah, I really don't care about this place But you know we have to do it anyways first Let me tell you briefly about the Pokestar studios and it's all about Pokestar studios was built for making films It's a movie metropolis many films are made and released here Okay. You don't say. Okay, so here we go into, I believe, the theater right here. This is the theater. Of course, this is where the films are shown, and movie fans from all over also gather here. How about we have a look inside? Okay. It's like I'm not... It's like, uh, it's like I, I don't have any uh, choice. Here we are. This is the reception area. Mm -hmm. And, well, would you look at that? All of it is in the scout himself. Thanks to you, I've made my movie debut. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And who might, or who would, uh, or who would that be? This is Draven. I witnessed this trainer challenging your daughter. It struck me here's someone a real with real potential. A fresh discovery for the Pokestar Studios. You beat Roxy? I see. You must be pretty good trainer. Oh, you know what? They're releasing my movie now. Are you thinking about making a Pokestar Studio debut too? Then I do insist you watch my movie in order to gain some active from a professional such as myself. Okay, <laughs> that's a good idea. Draven, it should be a good introduction to filmmaking for you. Awesome, let's go. And well, we are gonna be going <laughs> to get to, to get to a movie and he's like welcome to the Pokestar Studios theater. This is the reception counter This is where you choose what movie you want to watch. There are eight screens in the uh, theater here at the Pokestar Studios Pretty impressive, huh? Now uh, It seems my movie will be shown in a special screen Well, we got to go and watch this movie and uh... <laughs> Well Look at this, um... <laughs> Bryson Man versus the midlife of a man, um... A place of never-ending smiles, everyone's ideal place to play, the amusement park. However, the dark is just before the dawn, a hero has appeared on the scene. And that hero is named uh, Riolu Man. <laughs> okay, so basically, this is a... Uh... Yeah, this is a movie that uh, Roxy's dad has done, and the villain right here is all too familiar. It is uh, Bryson, the former gym leader of uh, some kind of gym that we faced him back in the day. And well, as you can see, he's battling Bryson, and uh, seriously, who calls himself Bryson, man? 
Like, uh, yeah, this is a Pokemon battle of, uh... <laughs> yeah, this is a, a, a good battle. And, uh... Well, Riolu's using his Force Bomb. Bam! There you go. That seems to be the norm. And there goes uh, Ponyard. And, well, Bryson Mandible sent, ma sent out Bullabai. And everybody's just looking at this move right here. And he, the crowd's like, what's going on? And a single hit KO, that's pretty good, Riolumon. Despite that, however, you will be brought to your knees before when I end your whatever. And I can't even read that fast. But everybody's falling asleep right here. And apparently this guy's, like, scared. Wow, it's a, it's a total snooze fest. And, well, let's see, here comes the air slash. Wow. And just like that, Riolu has been defeated, and, uh... <laughs> Hooray for the bad guys, right? <laughs> Bryson's, uh, yeah, Bryson looks like he's picked up a pretty good career right here, and, uh, wow, Riolu, man, got destroyed. He got wrecked. Wrecked with a T! Holy bejeebus, okay, so the Masked Man, we lost all strength to fight, however... Oh, well, I forget it, timely, uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, this movie was not good. <laughs> this movie was definitely not good, and as you can see, the credits go on, Bryson Man is Bryson, and, uh, Warren, Beverly, P-Casting, Pop Roxy, yeah, I guess his name is Pop Roxy. Yeah, that, that whole thing was bad. And everybody was so confused, was like, wait, isn't the good guy supposed to win? Yeah, unfortunately, this guy was like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. How did you enjoy the movie? I did not enjoy this movie. This guy is like, dot, dot, dot. What's the matter? <laughs> I always dreamed of making a debut in the silver screen. Now that I've fulfilled that dream, what are you saying? Different people have different talents. I knew it all along. But I see my daughter trying to balance the responsibility of being a gym leader while pursuing her own dream of being in a band. Although I'm a father, I literally wanted to pursue my own long-held dream. If you stop pursuing your dreams, your life might be uh, might as well be over, right? Dot dot dot. I'm going back to my duties at, at the ship, cap as a ship captain for now. Someday I will return to the screen. Until that day comes, I'll have I'll leave and I'll start in roles to you. And he's like looking, he's like, his movie sucked, didn't it? Yeah, his movie sucked so bad. We uh, we had better get along. Mr. Dio uh, should be ready by now. Okay, so after watching that horrendous movie, you gotta go look for Mr. Studio, and uh, I guess you have to make your own movie, which I, I kinda I kinda don't want to do. I really, really, really don't want to do, but we ha we kind of has to. This is the filming studio. This is where the Poke Sto uh, Pokestar Studios movies are born. Well, now, come inside. Mr. Dio will be waiting. All right, let's go and uh, find this Mr. Dio right here. Hey, boss. I brought Draven. Well, now, thanks for coming. First, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Studio. I'm the owner of the Pokestar Studios. So, Draven, darling, I brought you here because I have a very important request for you. I'll bet you figured it out, but I want you to be in a Pokestar Studio movies. The scout said that you were absolutely positively oozing with star potential. And when I saw you, your potential struck me like a lightning bolt. Yes, sir, boss. There's no doubt in my mind that this Pokemon trainer will be a top star at the Poke Pokestar Studio silver screen. I know. Isn't it fabulous? I'm sure you'll be a big star, darling. So I beg you, be in a movie. Today, I've even called an amazing, astounding co-star for you. Bryson, would you join us? And, well, as you can see, the former gym leader of whatever gym he's from, Bryson, he's like, I'm Bryson, pleased to meet you. Bryson is the Pokestar Studio pride and joy of our marquee star. I've prepared a positively perfect script for a big veteran star like him and a fresh new talent like you. Those eyes. I look forward to acting with you. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. As cool as oh, as ever. So that's the situation. If you ever talk uh, to that fine staff member over there, you can start shooting the film. Uh, don't be afraid of making mistakes. So uh, to start with, try going big. Well, now, Draven. I'm looking forward to working with you. Please do your best until we uh, until we make a movie to release it in the theater. So yeah, we can't get out of this until we make a movie. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Yes. Yes, we are the movie uh, person, and talk to this person. Welcome to the Soundstage Studio. Would you like to 
Try to shoot a film, and let's shoot a film. Okay, what kind of Pokemon would you want to have a porn with you? And I want, uh, well, let's go with the red for Pokemon. We'll provide you with the perfect Pokemon for this part. Okay, let's start the shoot. And well, here we go. We're going into the green screen area, and okay, let's get it rolling. Three, two, one, action. Wow, okay, so I, I do love the animation, and <laughs> wow. We are literally in a green screen, guys, and this guy is just like... You gotta love the Pokemon battle song right here. Holy crud. So, the rental Pokemon we got is Riolu. The same Riolu that we actually seen in, well, action. Let's use the Force Palm. And just like that, bam, this Ponyard has been defeated. Again, use your type advantages, guys. Again, you gotta love the song right here. And here comes the Volibi. And this is the same Pokemon that defeated Riolu. And wait, what's going on? Okay, single KO with my Pokemon. You're pretty good, Riolu kid. Despite that, however, you will get down on your knees before me and I will land you and prepare to be finished, yada, yada, yada. And I'm just gonna be putting on Bring It On. Okay, well said. My dark secret hearts uh, take them to be gone. Da, 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 da. And here we have Volibi. And. Well, let's go right ahead and use that Ice Punch just to defeat this guy. Here comes a Faint Attack. And that one hits us pretty good. But here comes the Ice Punch for the win. How's it feel to fail? Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So that's that. And I believe we've made our movie, our so-called movie. And, well, fine work, everyone. Film is done. Okay. And good work on the shoot. Would you like to release uh, to release your, the film you just shot in the theater? Yes. Okay, so we're going to be saving up the game. I'm actually going to be speeding this one up right here. There we go. Speed up the button. Bam. Okay, so let's see. Mr. Studio is like, great work. Uh, what a stirring, a stirring acting. I can't wait to see the finished film. And this is where we're amazing. The movie you just filmed will be finished in an instant and released the silver screen. Come on now, uh, Draven, uh, darling. Uh, let's be off to the theater. And, wow, there's a... Okay. Hey, boss, sorry to interrupt, but the time. Oh, that's right. Got it. Uh, boo, sorry, so sorry, Draven, darling. I have to hurry off. But, Draven, you should go see how your debut turned out. I'm sure it will be an amazing movie. You're in it, after all. Ciao. See you again soon. Pokestar Studios is always waiting for you, Draven, darling. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go straight to the movie theater and uh, check out our movie because they will never le let us leave. So let's go right ahead and see how good we are. I kinda wanna see how good we are. Okay, alrighty, let's go ahead and talk to this receptionist and welcome, watch the movie. Yes, let's go ahead and watch the movie against Bryson Man. And, well, let's see if we don't screw the pooch right here. Okay, so Mr. Bryson Man versus a real Luke kid. That's me. I'm real Luke kid right here. Okay, so it's the same thing, but a threatening shadow looms over the happy place, and uh, well, appeared in the scene. Da 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 da. I come on, let's go. Let's just yeah. As many of you guys can already tell, yes, this is totally unnecessary. It really is. So here we are taking on Bryson Man yet again, and well, he's coming out with his Ponyard. And we do not fold like a paper cup against this against this place. Uh, so here it is, unleash your power. I will be unleashing the power of uh, good old Riolu boy, Riolu man, or whatever it is. And uh, well, here comes Riolu kid, I should say. And well, here comes, uh, let's see, amusement park, da 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 da. So here we go, Force Pump for the win. Yeah, he did not like that. Okay, so Ponyard has been defeated, and here comes the Volibi that defeated a uh, good old real loop beforehand. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's go right ahead and do this and really bring it on. So I'm bringing it on right here. And he's like, well said, my Dark Secret Arts uh, will take you, da 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 da. And here we go. Ice Punch for the win, but before that, yes, we're going to get a, uh, a faint attack, and everybody looks like their their hearts are going fast, they're racing, and here comes the Ice Punch. Look at that, okay. 
How about now? Okay, so we have defeated uh, Bryson, man. He does not like it, so there it is. We have defeated him, and yes, we we keep the ideals of every the everyday man right here. Real kid has been victorious. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and well, fight on, real kid. And just like that, um, that was our movie. <laughs> Everybody's not really reacting, so yeah. Okay, so I guess. I guess it was an okay movie. And, well, they were clapping. Look at that. Okay, so they're clapping. We got more than what, uh, what's your face's mom or dad uh, got. So, after that, here you have Mr. Studios like, well, well, if it isn't Draven Dowling. Draven, this is a, this particular effort turned out to be a spectacular hit, Dowling. Keep it up, and you'll be loved by other movie buffs everywhere in our staff. Bye for now, Draven. I'm looking forward to your next picture, Dowling. It's a lot of dollings. It really is. Okay, so that is pretty much it right here. I mean, it was a total waste of time. I am so sorry, guys, but it must be done. Let us go back to Verbank and, uh, well, take care of the most important part, and that is getting the heck out and moving on to the next city, which will be in the next episode. So, again, thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm sorry that I had to go through this, but it was a must. Uh, in the next episode, yes, we will be going into the next city and taking on a whole bunch of new trainers and everything else in between. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.